Now for a little something sweet, we're joined by Jamila Glittens of, J of Mila Sweet Treats. Hi, Mila. Thanks for coming in. And tell us who you brought with you. Hi. So today I have my two nephews. Um, I know it's as my dessert um, tasters. <laughs> and I have Isaiah and Jeremiah. I love it. <laughs> you guys have a fun job then, dessert tasters. Mm -hmm. OK, let's talk about how you got started with baking and what led you to starting Mila Sweet Treats. So I got started right near the pandemic. I was laid off from my job, so I was just like, what can I do? I always had a passion for baking. So then I just started baking in the house. I was making candy apples and fried dough and all this type of stuff, and then I got into making cookies. Okay, so you were self-taught how to bake, right? Tell yes. us what that process has been like, just kind of learning as you go. Um, it's amazing, like I just look up YouTube videos, TikToks, recipes online, and also like my mom, she's known for like baking and cooking in Buffalo, so I just learned from her a lot of things. Okay, so you had some help along the way. Yeah. It wasn't all on your own. Yeah. Now you're known as a dessert creator, so how do you come up with different flavor combinations and baked goods? Um, just online, I look at stuff. I also have like my sisters and like everybody just give me ideas and then I just come up with stuff like the craziest things like the stuffed brownies. So it's just amazing. Yeah, let's talk about what you brought in. So those are brookies, right? Yes, brookies. So it's a um, red velvet um, brownie on top. In the middle, it's stuffed with Oreo like cookies. Yes, yeah. yeah. And then it has a chocolate chip cookie at the bottom. And those are really good. Okay. And then so on top, chocolate chip, yes. Oreo, brownie, and then what's on top? That's the cookies and cream chocolate. Oh my goodness! Amazing. So. <laughs> and then the cookies are kind of your bread and butter. Yeah. So the cookies are um, what I started with. Um, those are my custom made Black Girl Magic cookies. I love it. Um, so it's like Afro furrows and all that good stuff. And let's talk about these. Those are one of my top sellers. Those are my dessert shooters. Um, I make them in over 10 flavors, and they're so great for like baby showers, wet ends, parties, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. It's just a small treat, you know. So which, what three flavors are these? So I have Oreo, banana pudding, and cookie butter. Okay, so do you bake for events too? I do. Nice, how has that been? It's been pretty good so far. I did my first wedding um, last year, so that was amazing. Wow. So, cause, so if we started the pandemic, it was about three, four years you've been doing this now. Yeah. How have you seen it grow, and how's the community support been? It's been amazing. Like, I've been at so many pop-ups throughout Buffalo, New York, and um, even Niagara Falls. So yeah. it's a lot of support that I have. That's, that's super cool. I mean, this started with a time of uncertainty. You got laid off from your job. We were in the middle of a pandemic, mm -hmm. and you kind of found something. You said, okay, I want to give this a try, and you're running with it now. Yes. Which is in incredible. And you do everything yourself, right? Yes, I do. Okay, that's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I have to train my nephews yeah. and get them in the kitchen. <laughs> what is the best part for you guys about being the official taste testers? I mean, <clears throat> I know that the food just tastes good. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't been disappointed once, huh? No. Nope. No? Nope. <laughs> Every time she's baking, I literally just smell it, and then I run out and I'm like, can I lick it? <laughs> <laughs> you run right over as soon as you smell it. Okay, so what is your favorite that she makes? <clears throat> My personal favorite would probably be these, because I love chocolate. I'm much more of a chocolate fan than more of a candy fan. Okay. I like um, her pudding, and I like the cookies, the sprinkle cookies. Oh, sprinkle cookies. Those yeah. are good. Well, you know, we've been saying this whole show and this whole month, we're bringing in women that own businesses. So do you want to talk about what it's been like for you being a woman-owned business, especially when you started, like we said, at such a, an easy time? Yes, it's been amazing um, just being a woman-owned business, getting myself out there in the community um, and giving back also. Like, that's really something I want to do in my future. I want to give back more to the um, my community and everything. So it's amazing seeing everyone grow. How have you been able to give back so far? Um, so far, I donated a lot of um, treats to my church and oh. stuff like that. And I also just recently donated all my desserts to a fashion show recently. So, yeah, Amazing. just... Amazing. Uh, what advice do you have for anyone who wants to start their own bakery business? Um, just go for it. Don't listen to the naysayers. Just go for it. Listen to yourself and think positive, always. Mm -hmm. What do you see for the future of Mila's Sweet Treats? Um... Hopefully, like a little small bakery that I can um, teach kids in my community how to bake, that so they can have fun. a positive, you know. Yeah. 
<laughs> experience because right yeah. now you're doing everything from home in yes. your own space. Mm -hmm. And I mean, is it getting harder as you continue to grow? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So hopefully soon you can find that space. Mm -hmm. Maybe you guys will start to learn. <laughs> You've got a job lined up if you learn. There you yeah. go. Alrighty, viewers, you can connect with Mila on social media or send her an email inquiry at m.s.sweets20 at gmail.com. Thanks again for coming in and good luck to you. Thank you so much for having me.